Hey, what's up guys? It's me, Young Jay, and I'm here to make another tutorial. I am going to show you how to fly in After Effects. Okay, let's get started. As you can see, this is from my new movie that I'm making. It's kind of like Hancock, but yeah. Alright, so he says peace. Sorry if it's blurry, but look, yeah. He says peace. He goes this way. He opens the door right here. He opens the door. He just jumps. But he doesn't really fly away. And we're going to make that illusion that he flies away. Okay, so I'm going to put this to fit. And let's get started. I drag in my I dragged my video to my comp. Okay? So we're going to go to the part and you also need to hold your camera still like right there. See like I am. Okay? You go right here, right where he jumps. Like, I'm going to get the background really quick. That's the background. <laughs> That's the background. Okay. That's the background really quick. And I'm going to go to File. I mean, my bad. Composition, Save As. Same frame as Photoshop layer. And my, my desktop is okay. Save. I'm going to go to my desktop and get that. I want to drag it back to After Effects. Okay. And place it on top of my footage. Yeah, that's my background. Okay, now we need to get a frame where right when he takes off, as you can see, right about there, right? Okay, he takes off there. And this is kind of a little advanced since you guys, as you can see, you can't make him like fly up because it's kind of stupid because he's gonna hit the wall. So you have to make him scale down and go this way uh, until he disappears. So that's kind of hard. Uh, we can still do it. Okay, so I'm gonna, right there, I'm gonna click on my top layer and put footage. Okay, press enter and go to composition, same frame as, and file or Photoshop layer. It really doesn't matter. Okay, composition, same frame as Photoshop layer and whatever, and save. Might. And I'm gonna get that, drag it back to After Effects. Okay, and put it on top of my footage. Okay, we wanted to start there, so shift and then just drag it there. And we need to make a mask around it, okay? It's just the body. Just my friend Alex here. Okay, so. Uh, 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 oh. Sorry. It's kind of tripping, tricky since he has the door wide. Okay, I'll be back. Okay, I finished the little, little thing. As you can see, it's not perfect. I'll try to hurry up. So look, so he goes here and then boom, he gets stuck. Okay, as you can see, he when he jumped, my character, Right here, like it's still walking. <laughs> so I have to get into the point where he stops, like right there in my background. Uh, this finishes right here. So it's like this. Look, he opens the door and boom. Boom. It's finished. And boom. Okay. So we're going to animate it. Also, if you want this background, you want a lighter background. 
It can't be because it gets dark. So that's the problem. Okay. Let's go. Let's start animating. Oh, sorry. Okay. He jumps. Boom. Now all you need to do is go to mask and feather it. Just at least two. I say it's good. Oops. Mask expansion negative point three. So it fits. And that's it. And just go to position. Shift rotation and click the stopwatches. Now, all we're gonna do is oh, and also scale. My bad, because since we're gonna scale it down, okay, all we're gonna do is move a frame up with uh, page down one, and we're gonna move him up and scale it down a little. Page up, page down, my bad. Scale it down, move it up, page down, scale it down, move him up, page down, scale him down, oops, a little too much, and move him, oops. Move them up. And right here is where we go page down. And you scale them really down. That's where you can barely see them. You move them up. Or we could do something different. Like if you want them to make like a circle. Like a whoosh, whoosh. Well, I think that's okay. So unredo value. Okay. And reach down and just scale them down until you can't see them. Zero. So let's see that really quick. Okay, he goes. Huh. It's not that bad. I say it was pretty good. Okay. He says peace. He opens the door. Unlocks it, opens it, he goes and flies. Flies away. Well, I think it could be more realistic. I don't know about you guys, but let's see. I think. You could add some blur. If you click right here, and then right here, you add blur. Also, what you could do, I think, maybe, you can make it 3D. Alright, uh, so, he's 3D, basically, right here. So, you can make him do this, look. As you can see, you can make him go, no, sorry. You can make him, not like that, that's stupid. Like that go more like that but you keen frame it and he's like that when he's like right here so it looks more realistic see okay now let's preview that Let's see that one more time. And I'm looking at my time right now, and I don't have that much time to show you. That looks pretty good. I don't have that much time to show you about the blurriness. Okay, so I'm just gonna go really quick. I'm gonna go fast blur. In fact, fast blur. I'm gonna do it in the description box, don't worry, before I run out of time. Okay, so I'll see you next time with another tutorial, and have a good one. I hope this one helped. Bye.